Want to be holding in this week's Torah portion? Of course you do. Here are your Spark Notes. The Spark Notes. Parashat Tetzave. The layout for the Mishkan is set. Hashem's new digs are the talk of the tribe and everyone is excited to get to work. But there's still one question that's kind of lingering. What exactly is supposed to happen there? Is it a timeshare? Do you put it on Airbnb? Or does God kind of move in and then everyone is just supposed to leave God alone? Luckily, Parashat Tetzave is here to shed some light on this question. Because as we are about to find out, this is no ordinary tabernacle. This is a very special tabernacle. This is a sui generis tabernacle. I just want to keep saying tabernacle. This tabernacle is going to be a barbecue like the world has never seen before. Now, when we think barbecue, we think casual, summertime, t-shirts and flip-flops. Not this one. No, no. This one is fancy, and it has a lot of detail that needs to go into it. First and foremost, the barbecue masters. Enter Aaron and his sons, the Kohanim, the priests, who are given the sacred and weighty task to make sure that every offering, every ceremony, every ritual is done by the book. Sacred because it involves communion with God. Weighty because if you do it wrong, you die. But worry not, as a consolation for this heavy responsibility, Hashem gets all of the Kohanim some new drip. And these threads are on a whole nother level. They make Gucci look like Amazon basics. Here's what they get. Here's the outfit. A fringe tunic, an ephod, which is like a fancy vest. Ugh, love me a good ephod. A robe, a breast piece covered with jewels and embossments. A sash and a really cool headdress. But mind you, all of this is made with the most vibrant, beautiful yarns and colors with gold plating, with fancy hand threaded pomegranates and bells. I mean, look at this guy. Okay, so now the Kohanim are properly decked out. Now we need to figure out how we can get sacrifices done without getting stains on these new clothes. Because as the great rabbi Ludacris once said, no blood on the sneaks, gotta keeps it so my kicks is clean. That's from the Talmud. But this proves hard to do because this work is messy. Because blood is a pretty significant part of all of this. It's central. Blood is poured in front of the altar, but blood is also put in the coins, the, the priest's right ear, right thumb, and right big toe. Needless to say, all of the Southpaw Cohens are feeling very dejected at this point. Which, to be fair, is something that they will continue to experience for thousands of years, especially within Judaism and Islam, because there is a great emphasis placed on the right side of the body. Someone should make a video about that. Anyway, then Hashem lays out the schedule of when all of these offerings are supposed to take place, when during the day, when throughout the year, and then concludes by saying, whatever you do, do not put any foreign offerings on this altar. Foreshadowing. And that is Parashat Tetzaveh. The rest is commentary. Go and learn.